Well, hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Sean with another Genetree Solar video, and in this video, we're going to be looking at these Make Sky Blue controllers where I'm going to give you an update, a requested update on how well they're working for me and what my future plans are. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so before we get into the video, I do want to remind you to head over to GenetreeSolar.com where you can find power jet converters as well as parts, and soon you will be able to get some of these charge controllers. And yes, they are as good as most people say. Now, the reason I say that is because these are about $100 for the charge controllers each. And when you're thinking to yourself, oh, $100, it can't be that great quality, I mean... That's crazy when you can get a midnight solar charge controller for almost $1,000. Why would I spend $100 on something like this? It's got to be cheap Chinese crap and, and whatever. Well, the fact is, I was honestly in this boat uh, a few months back. I really did not think that these controllers would be any good. And after the past few months of actually having them working with my 2.5 kilowatt array... Uh, I can say that I am actually convinced they do in fact work really well now these two units here as a disclaimer were actually given to me by make sky blue but I did not have any kind of contract with them or anything where I had to say certain things or whatever I'm giving you my honest opinion on how well these things work so to my surprise my happy surprise they have been working flawless I have not had any problems with these charge controllers at all um, they have performed flawlessly uh, I'm extracting more energy out of my panels than I ever have before you guys know that I was using a PWM charge controller for the longest time a flex charge charge controller which I was super happy with but the limitations being that any extra voltage that you have coming from your solar panels that get to the charge controller is basically wasted. It's thrown away. A PWM charge controller is very efficient, 99.99% efficient at charging your battery, so there's no loss there. But the problem is, is that any excess voltage over the battery bank is basically wasted. Whereas with an MPPT charge controller, you could actually turn that into usable charging amperage. So there are disadvantages and advantages to each and definitely the main advantage to having an MPP charge controller is you are able to extract more now there is that old saying that you get what you pay for and to be honest this is one of those things where I would say to hell with that because wow for a hundred dollars a charge controller that will handle 60 amps at I don't know it's well over 100 volts I mean I'm not doing 100 volts on my system I'm doing 48 but it'll handle quite a bit for such a small controller these things are very very small so with that in mind I have been super happy with these charge controllers and in fact I did buy another one a brand new 119 that's version 119 Wi-Fi charge controller that makes sky blue makes I have recorded most of the video footage of it I'm doing some kind of um, off bench testing and I will in fact install one of these and I'm gonna buy another one but I wanted to get one going just to see how well it actually works and uh, yeah I'm more than happy with the build quality of these charge controllers and I can't wait to get the new version 119 with the Wi-Fi capability installed being able to monitor my system remotely is incredibly useful it's useful for anyone and I will be getting a video out of that now I did purchase that with my own money so I can say whatever I want to without having to have any kind of disclaimer but I still am very supportive of this company make sky blue they really do seem to make good charge controllers and they have good customer service. Uh, Sean Buckner 
who is based out of Oklahoma, is the North American representative and service center for Make Sky Blue. He recently joined the Make Sky Blue team, and he does service, sell, and support these charge controllers. And he has assured me that if you ever have a problem, no matter where you buy your Make Sky Blue charge controller, if you ever have a problem with it, he will take care of you. And he does have really good uh, service. Now, there is a knockoff of this exact controller that has got a very old software on it. Now, I don't know the specifics of it because I've never had one myself. But there is a, another version of this called Mr. Power that you can get on Amazon and other places. And from what I am told, you will need to steer clear of that because it does not have the most current charging software built in and it can in fact damage your batteries. Now that's not me trying to take business away from a third party seller. That is just me saying that they are knockoffs from what I'm told and they can in fact damage your batteries. So keep that in mind that uh, in that case you want to spend a little bit more and go with Make Sky Blue rather than the old knockoffs from Mr. Power. So again, that's what I am told. I do not have one in front of me to be able to test that myself. But again, that is what I am hearing, that they're not very good charge controllers. So if you purchase one, purchase one at your own risk. Now, again, I have said this a million times. I am super happy with these. These have been great. We have full on sun right now. It's about 11 o'clock, I think, right now in the morning. Full on sun, I am running my inverter right now, my PowerJack 15 kilowatt inverter. And yes, a lot of people ask what the heck this is. I do, in fact, um, have a first alert smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector that sits on top of this inverter. Because if a fire is going to start, it's going to be in this area here with the charge controllers and the inverter. So if I happen to not be home, this thing will alert almost immediately of a problem and then I can react to it. Fire department can get out here pretty fast. I highly recommend that you get a Wi-Fi um, capable uh, smoke detector. I, I really do recommend that you get one because it's they're immensely helpful, especially when you're away. You know, smoke detectors are great when you're home, but a smoke detector isn't going to do anything when you're not home. It's going to go off and that's it. But a Wi-Fi smoke detector, this hooks up to my ring uh, security system. And if this were to go off, then it would automatically dispatch the fire department to my location. So immensely helpful. I highly recommend that you get one uh, for your, uh, your solar shack or battery shack or whatever else you have. I highly recommend it. But uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm running my PowerJack 15K. Inverter here just fine. I don't have any heavy loads on it right now. It's still cool outside So I'm not running the air conditioning or anything else like that. Just got some lights and and whatever we can see Yeah 49 looks like 53 watts. That's not coming in too well and then on L2 363 watts, so yeah, not much of a draw right now, but typically in the mornings I don't have much draw just some lights some fans and whatever, but um you can see the, the battery bank is fully charged. Um, right now the PV voltage, or battery voltage is 59.2 volts. The PV array right now is 81.1 on the western side. Let's check the east side. And you can see I'm putting down 840 watts or so with 65 volts on the PV array. Again, the array is gonna come down in voltage as you charging your battery bank okay it's not going to stay up at 80 volts it's going to bring that down so uh yeah i mean um it, it's it's working so great it's working so nice and um i can definitely show you something here i have two arrays set up as you probably know i've got the east array and the west array and you can see here that the west array is basically f idle 11 watts is coming out of the west array at 81 volts which is the open voltage of the solar bank so it's basically sitting there idle it's not doing anything 
All the heavy lifting right now is coming from this array here. It's bringing it down to 65 volts and it's pushing at 840 watts to the battery bank. Um, and uh, so, yeah, as soon as my load comes up, then that Western array will help try to lift up that uh, battery bank as much as it can. So yeah, fascinating. I, I really, really, really like these things. I've been more than happy, reliable. Um, I haven't worried about them at all. They're working great. And I really can't wait to get that Wi-Fi enabled charge controller installed. So if you have any questions at all with these Make Sky Blue controllers, of course, send me a message. I'm more than happy to answer all of your questions. Um, I, I have been more than happy. Looks like a cloud just went through and you can tell because the array went down to what 168 watts i can hear the inverters working harder and then this one this array here obviously picked up because it sensed the battery voltage was lower than its mark and started to put some power out to compensate so yes it is for some reason there's a cloud it looks like the cloud is passing now so what you're going to see here is with that cloud passing the uh no actually it's coming back again <laughs> we got some clouds passing through so anyway you can see now the western array is doing some more heavy lifting here 420 500 watts 600 watts so you know it's it's fluctuating we still got 700 watts over here now the reason that that jumped up like it did or that spiked up is because briefly there wasn't enough solar there to power whatever i was uh, running in the house the battery volts came down slightly and now it's compensating by turning up the juice on the uh, the controllers to try to keep the batteries as close to float as possible. It's actually fascinating how it all works. I could sit here all day and watch this. In fact, I have debated to putting all of this stuff in my workroom. Um, but anyway, that's for a different video. But okay, cool. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, again, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I am overall very pleased with these charge controllers. They're very reliable. The fans basically never come on. That one on the uh, east side has been coming on more and more. I might pull that charge controller open and clean it out. It might need to be cleaned out. I'm not sure. But the one on the west is the equal, vo uh, equal um, wattage. That one doesn't seem to be coming on as much. Uh, but it might have something to do with uh, trees or something else uh, going on out there. But, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, again, thank you for your support. Uh, Make Sky Blue. You can definitely contact Sean Buckner to uh, be able to get service or support or purchase one of these. I highly recommend you get one from him because he will test it and make sure that it's got the most current software installed and bring you the most efficient and reliable charge controller that you could possibly have. So, yes. It is a great deal, and yes, they work really, really well. So, if you have any questions, let me know. GenitreeSolar.com and search YouTube for Genitree Homestead, where you can find the uh, how to grow your own food, collecting rainwater, taking care of chickens and rabbits and things like that. Danielle over there at Genitree Homestead, she's got some great information, some great videos. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support. Take care.